Hi everyone, welcome to the Satellite of Love. As you can see, there's been some changes in Tom. It's a little difficult to explain. Oh, so not I'll... difficult at all, Mike. <laughs> Acting on some ancient urge imprinted in my very genes, a few days ago I wriggled my way onto a twig and began squeezing a thin stream of liquid from my spinneret, which I turned into a soft button of silk. Then, using wave-like movements of my body, I rolled my skin off toward my rear, exposing the soft front parts of the pupa. Okay, 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 formed. okay, okay, all right. The point is... I'm a butterfly, and a glorious one at that. <laughs> right, so the Tom Servo we've all known and loved. Oh, nothing but a larva, Mike, and it was a surprise to me, too. Hell, I didn't even know I had a spinneret until I began squeezing that thin stream of liquid, you know? Okay, enough with the thin stream. <laughs> now, the colorings, is that a camouflage of some sort? Uh, yeah, well, unfortunately, I blend in only with myself, Mike. Makes me incredibly susceptible to being eaten by a barn swallow. I tend to survive only a day or two. Yeah, well, until that happens, I whipped up a little nectar for you. Here you go. Oh, oh boy. Mm. 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 Oh. <laughs> hey, my proboscis doubles as a party favor. <laughs> yeah, neat. We'll be right back. Give me some. Mm. 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 That's good nectar. Mm. <sighs> hey, sir, but... What happened to your... Uh... I'm still a beautiful butterfly, Mike. I've had a few unfortunate happenstances, such as my wings being torn off in an industrial accident. Well, that depressed me, so I ate a lot of mallow mars and gained all the weight back. But I was soon feeling better and went back to work. But alas, someone turned down the extruder while I was cleaning it, and my bottom two pairs of delicate butterfly legs were ripped from me. Again depressed, I hit the pecan sandies, hard, and gained my remaining weight back in my remaining arms. My arms, by now in a metabolic frenzy, started to leach fats from my antenna which made them so thin as to be invisible. But I am still a beautiful butterfly, Mike, and uh, butterflies are free to fly. Fly away. Hi away. Bye-bye. Well, that makes sense. Uh, and I still have my proboscis. Ah, right. Oh, uh, Pearl's calling. Hmm? And it seems urgent. Hmm. Yes, Mrs. Forrester. Hmm? Have your penguin costumes on yet? He said we would meet here at 10 o'clock with our penguin costumes on already. Hurry up and get them on. We haven't much time. Hurry! Hey, it's not our fault. It's, uh, it's Mike's. Yeah, why didn't you tell us, Mike? Yeah, that's great. Mike didn't tell us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't even have left us a note on the refrigerator door? I... We don't have a refrigerator. Exactly, Mike. We don't have a refrigerator because you don't make enough money to get one because your job stinks because you never stayed in school. Because you were too lazy to get proper post-secondary school training. So we have to suffer for it. Exactly. Well, That's why it's your fault we don't have our costumes on. Mike's fault. Stop talking nonsense. Hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Before it's too late. In the name of all that is good and decent, gentlemen, put on your penguin costumes. Oh. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, Pearl. These uh, these old costumes were uh, all we could come up with. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, I think we're I think we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nelson, you guys are total rubes. <laughs> I can't believe they fell for it. <laughs> I've never met anyone as gullible as you, poor dope. <laughs> <laughs> to be pulled in by such a simple thing like this. All we had to do was call 53 costume shops to find one that had three penguin costumes, reserve them eight months in advance with a huge cash deposit, then pay the balance of $899 per costume to rent them for an hour, <laughs> then put them on, then wait till you guys woke up and finished breakfast, then call you and make believe we had set an appointment up with you to wear penguin costumes, and then you <laughs> fell for it! It was so simple! Actually, it was a titch pathetic of us, I'm afraid. It was. Yes. Well, well, you guys should be even more humiliated. Nelson. You have a dog costume on. Ha ha ha! You all have ridiculous looking penguin costumes on. Yeah. And you're out a lot of money and time. Yeah. Burn you, man! <laughs> <laughs> I hereby decree that you are more burned than us. Your humiliation is at least 1% higher. We win. Hoorah, hoorah, 
<laughs> to celebrate, we're sending you a horrible, smelly movie. It's called The Screaming Skull. Eat it. We're so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, do they look stupid. Yeah, at least we maintained our dignity. Yep. Oh, oh movie movie time. Time. Yeah. Rump? Oh, All right. Oh, I was hoping it to be about robot rumps. Damn. <laughs> On Saturdays, Gumby used toy robots to do his chores so that he and his pal, Pokey, could relax. But on this day, something unexpected happened. Gumby was nude. Mother, may we both have a glass of milk? Eek. You certainly may. One of my classmates died in the kiln today, Mother. The nice thing about Gumby is that you can use him as window cock. Yeah. Are you getting your work done all right? Look out the window, Mother! Wow. Pokey left a big surprise in your begonias! <laughs> well, I declare, that was a clever idea. This way we don't have to hire illegal immigrants. But remember to return the robots when you're through with them. Sure, Mother! Don't you worry your squishy little head about it! I don't! That's Wallace and Gromit's yard! Hey, that's old girls' play. <laughs> Habitat against humanity. Sixteen ton, what do you get? Clay figures go home. <laughs> Rump. <laughs> Such clever boys certainly deserve some crackers with their milk. Crackers, wow, maybe they can have white rice later. Close-ups reveal the weakness of the whole premise. <laughs> yeah. Gumby, Ooh. look. Damn, I need more pig's blood. <gasps> this is Gumby is stacked. <laughs> I want you to. <gasps> Help! Yeah, we'll have to take this down to the shop. <sighs> well, you use one of those older Philips analog chips in your robot, you're gonna get this. Oh. Gumbo. So he just goes to work, Starkers. Fire department. <laughs> oh, right away, dear. I'll use the company car. <laughs> It's a fair to partly cottony day. <laughs> Gumbo sentenced to wear permanent bell bottoms. Are you all right, dear? You came just mm. in time. What the? Yeah, you're kind of slacking off on the house shaking here, Ron. <laughs> I'm gonna set you on Don Knot strength. Oh, in the name of all that is clay. Better mow the shag carpeting. That squares my breasts. <laughs> Anybody hurt? No, but but go to the garage quickly. Uh -oh. <laughs> Mom threatened to make me into a ball. Look, Gumby, your father didn't stop that one. Wonder where the Gumbies never had any other children. <laughs> Good question. Uh oh. My tail is lifting. <laughs> Gotta move this body back upstate. Oh, Gumbo, look at my flower bed. I'm gonna glaze your backside, young man. Ooh, bad move. Robots do not fight clean. You know that, Mike. Oh, yeah. Ooh. See? That's what you get. 
Oh, thank goodness for the internal genitalia. Pay for my head bump surgery and I'll get you down. Son, I'll need a can of Play-Doh to replace my butt. There's only one way to stop that robot now. On CNN. Gumbo a matador? <laughs> I think someone just sold him a bad rug. Oh. Eat death, robot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Liquid metal. <laughs> Hey, you can throw things through Dad. I'm gonna get an anvil. He's extremely high crotch. I bought this with the royalties from an earlier short. <laughs> yeah, when did Gumby get a Class F license? Ooh. Oh, look at that robot. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> Davy and Goliath are moving in next door. There goes the neighborhood. She's got a sweater wrapped onto her head. <laughs> oh, I pooped again. My seventh day with no food or water. <laughs> Please have mercy. <laughs> ah! They hung his head! Oh. Well, now I'm ready for years of powerful oh. Adlerian therapy, oh. Mike. They hung his head. Oh. Oh, this is worse than seven. <laughs> hey, his bump is on the other side. Horrible. Oh. Wow. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> Shouldn't that be under a pile of Chinese food? What a lovely arrangement of popcorn balls. Out. I hate it when people die. They make such a big deal out of it. I know. It's, a, it's like a dead person won the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Al Lewis's one man show. Oh, this reminds me, Mike, we're out of embalming fluid. Yeah. The Screaming Skull is a motion picture that reaches its climax in shocking horror. But we cut that. Its impact is so terrifying that it may have an unforeseen effect. Huh. It may kill you. If you watch it in front of a moving bus. Therefore, its producers feel they must assure free burial services to anyone who dies of fright while seeing The Screaming Skull. Offer void in Utah, Florida, and Arizona. Taxes and acquisition fee not included. Must take delivery of dealer stock. Hey, guys, I'm going to get a free coffin, put some ice in it, fill it with beer, have a great theme party. That's, that's what I'm doing. What are you going to do with your free coffin? Would you take those off? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. There. Yep, shocking horror. Hey. wreck a cax coax coax you guys might be tempted to make a smoke on the water joke here, but I urge you to refrain. Okay. Please. Okay, who turned up the heat in the hot tub? My Sharona. <laughs> yep, when you think shocking horror, you think German Umpa band music. Mazola. Corn goodness. Ooh. Assistant director Maurice Farcorino. Oh, 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 oh. unit photography can he pee? Good. Oh, I canoe a canoe bull one time. Thank you. <laughs> Betty Jane Lane, I, I knew a Peggy Sue Turnpike one time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I, I knew an Alex Christie Mack nickel one time. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> yes, shocking horror arrives in style in your 1953 Mercedes.
Can't get the get, get damn key out of there. Get it. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, that's tough. Ah, Davenport. Just need to adjust you. There you go. You're fine. <laughs> Welcome, Mrs. Whitlock. It's lovely, Eric. You look disappointed for a moment. You did not. It's really lovely. Oh, look! Out of my way. <laughs> Help us! NBC is after us! Hide us! I bet that's the den there. That's right. Is that a bedroom? It could be. <laughs> yes, it is. Gonna be ours? It'll need some fixing first. It was her room, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> Come on along, I'll share the rest of the house. We. Oui. <laughs> I'm pleasant, but I have issues. Oh. Ah, choir's late. No black soled shoes, please. Uh, it's rather forbidding now, I suppose. Empty like this. But it was usually this way. Coated with filth. Shortly after Marion and I were married, she removed all the furniture her parents had left her. This is our home, she used to say. And we must choose everything carefully. Is he reading from a report? She didn't get very far before she died. But now that you're here, it's going to be lovely again. Then that ends my narration. I'll get the things out of storage tomorrow. We're all in town at the warehouse. So best of luck with our marriage. Hope to see you again soon. And I'll take care of that, too. You have candles? Sure. Yeah. It'll be twice as romantic. Speaking of being romantic... I invite you to join me in marital intercourse. Carry over the threshold. Oh. Clapton, look. Mm. Mm. I love you. I love you. Jenny. Mm. I thought life had died out for me. And this confirms it. Mm. Ew, gross. Mm. Want to go hunt for bugs? Here, have a stick, honey. Mm-hmm. What's that up there? Oh, that's where Mickey keeps his gardening things. Who's Mickey? The gardener. As previously implied. He's kept it up the two years I've been away. All by himself? That's right. He must work awfully hard. Oh, he and Marion would spend hours on end working here in the gardens. Uh -huh. And up in the greenhouse back there. What does Mickey do? See, he loved her very much. Sometimes I used to wonder who she was. My wife or Mickey's nursemaid. Mm. You know, I don't think he quite believes she's gone. I think he expects her to show up one of these mornings and will scold her for neglecting the gardens. You still love her, don't you? Hey, look, your second choice, accept it. <laughs> hmm? No, I'm not jealous. I'm grateful to her. I think to have loved once, really loved, to learn how to love always. Mm. Learning it from her, you give again to me. Look, I made a mustache with your hair. I <laughs> wish there was some way to think. I love you, deceased wife. I mean, Jenny. Who's that? I don't know. They're driving around the back. Oh, it's the robots I hired to do the yard work. <laughs> come on, come along. Get in the shop before the jump cut occurs. <laughs> Eric! I see Eric! Please stop by to meet your new wife. And you forgot your baby. Oh, Eric, this is a wonderful surprise. It's been a long time. It has. Yeah. Reverend. Good to see you, Eric. Jenny, this is Mrs. Snow. I'm very happy to meet you. Jenny, this is a lovely surprise. Yeah. And the Reverend Mr. Snow. Hello, mm. my dear. Oh, she's sweet, Eric. I know. I happen to be going into town. I ran into Mr. Maurer. He told me you were getting back today. And we thought we'd just drop by and bring you something for your dinner. Oh, nice. Well, then it'll save you all the bother of shopping while you're trying to get settled. Well, then why don't you stay for dinner? Oh, no, not tonight. Oh, no, no, we wouldn't think of that. Come on. Oh, now, please say yes. I'd like yeah. to you, too. It would be like old times. All right, on the condition that I do the cooking. You don't have to. 
You know, I know that, but I'd love to. I'll bring Phil Dirt. Well, there's Mickey. <laughs> Excuse me, honey. Mickey! Hey, it's Mickey, and he's wearing pants today. Hey! Oh, Mickey. Ah, poor Mickey. He's so fine, he blows my mind. Poor Mickey. He keeps this place up like a shrine. My husband loves me mostly, though, right? Eric told me how he loved Marion. Mickey's father was a gardener here when Marion's mother was alive. So lay off. Mickey and Marion grew up together here. Jenny, this is Mickey. Mickey's a wide-awake nightmare. How do you do, Mickey? I hope we'll be good friends. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Mickey. <laughs> Give her your paw. That's a good boy. Thank you, Mickey. Well, shall we all go inside? That's a good idea. <laughs> Mickey, remember you promised me some of those rose cuttings. All right. I sing you again, Mickey. <laughs> I'm going to have to get you down to the barber shop one day. I like I Mickey. Excuse us, Mickey. <laughs> Well, Mother, what should we do with our naughty miscreants? I think we should give them milk and cookies. Hooray! Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Mike. Uh, you're just in time to enter our wonderful clay-based world of whimsy and wonder. Yeah, we're under the surface lurks a rat's nest of seething violence and hatred. <laughs> Whee! Hooray. Oh, neat. Uh, you want to unpack that for me? Uh, sure, Mike. Welcome to the land of our two little clay figures, Bolus and Horseflop. Oh, what do they do? Well, mostly they gather lint, hair, and animal dander. But they share an impassioned hatred of robots. Yeah. Uh, move the robots up there, will you, Mike? Yeah, okay, In this sure. colorful story, our two pranksters hire some well-meaning, unsuspecting robots who want nothing more than to serve humanity to the best of their abilities. And the two wretched lumps of filth carry out a campaign of terror and savagery on the handsome, helpful robots. Yeah. Okay, I think I see where you're going with this, you guys. Good, you work the lumps, we'll do the voices. Oh, guys, come on, I know you're hurting. But Please, let's just Mike, work. just work the lumps. Okay, all right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Mike, make the lumps uh, smash the robots. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on, okay, come, on, smash bro, the robots. come on, come on. Don't them. put yourself through this. No, no, Mike, this is what happened in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> Horrid lumps of discharge destroyed beautiful innocent robots with impunity, <laughs> laughing all the way. <laughs> you guys, you guys, calm down. I'll tell you what, I'll make a note to Pearl to go easy on the Gumby shorts, all right? Thank you, Mike. Dear Pearl, please go easy on the Gumby Shorts. Oh, can you get some Dizzy Grizzlies there, Mike? We need them for the trauma we're experiencing. Oh. <laughs> get Dizzy Grizzlies for trauma they're experiencing. We'll be right back. Come on, come on. Soon you'll be munching Dizzy Grizzlies. Calm down. <laughs> You know, have people wised up to hiring guys like this? Oh, come on, Mike. How is he any different than you? Really? I'll just grab a goldfish for lunch. Ah, uh, nothing like a bath to perk me right up. Well, I better go rotate the hostages. It's all dunk that sloughed off Mickey. Mm. All right, that's done. Oh, now please be careful! Oh, honey, don't break your neck. Honey. Oh, you do agree, Don't worry. For the color of heavens, honestly, the two of them are just like children. Oh, that doesn't look too bad, Harry. Children love to hang drapes. I hope you have more luck in getting your husband to mine than I've had with mine. You know, you've got to admit it does make the room look better. <laughs> Very well, Tyson. For penance, you can come and help me with dinner. Now, come on. Edward, you keep Jenny company? Yes, dear. My wife and I have an understanding. <laughs> Oh, man, it's like a buffet of victims. I don't even know where to start. Ah, Van Gogh's howdy! <laughs> no, man, no. Send them away. Exit, stage left. Huh? No. <laughs> and I'm Zoastrian, and my husband doesn't even know it. Oh, 
she's so very nice, Eric. <laughs> Jenny? Yes. Isn't she wonderful? <laughs> yes, she's not at all like Marion, and I think that's for the best. I went someplace and I'm sad. You know, so many men, when they lose a wife, they try so hard to deny the loss they marry someone exactly like the first wife. <laughs> it hardly seems fair using the living to bring back the dead, does it? No, I suppose it doesn't. We make a prison for ourselves out of the past, at least our sentimental wished for pasts. Mrs. Snow. Yes, dear. Shut up. There's something I must tell you and the Reverend. Well, of course, Eric. What is it? You see, Jenny has not had a very happy past. Oh? And talking about it or about something that might strongly remind her of it, she's very impressionable. Is there something wrong, Eric? No, not really. You see... I buy locate. She lost her parents many years ago in a very tragic way. Mm. And talking about unhappy past only... She's very impressionable. See, I want her to be happy, Mrs. Snow. Of course you do, and so do we all. Mm -hmm. Now, how did she lose them? Well, she set them on top of the car and then drove off. Well, look, I'm not prying, dear. It's just that Mr. Snow and I can help better if we know something about it. They drowned mm -hmm. in an accident. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> Jenny saw it all. Well, thank you for the hand grenade. Who's Mr. Maurer? Mr. Maurer? Why, he's a lawyer in town. Why? I thought no one knew we were coming. You said you heard from Mr. Maurer? Why, well, Eric wrote him. Why? He takes care of the estate or what's left of it. Oh, that's right. Eric has to see him tomorrow. Why, why? Well, Eric's co-executor of the estate along with Mr. Maurer. You see, Marion's death was so sudden that, well, all that was left to Eric was the house and these grounds. Mr. Maurer told me that Eric had found someone very sweet and very kind, and with whom he was very much in love. He didn't say enough. Unfortunately, that all fell through. Mm -hmm. I still got it. <laughs> How did Marion die? Didn't Eric tell you? He sat on her head. I think the subject's rather painful to him. I'd like to make him talk about it. Let's just say she was riddled with bullets. Would you mind telling me? I'd like to know. It was a rainy day. And he shot her. She and Mickey had been working up there in the greenhouse. She left him to go back to the house for a few minutes. Uh, then a lion jumped out and shot her. At least that's what Eric said. The way we pieced it together after the accident is that... She, she got shot. While she was coming down this path, apparently it began to rain very hard. Then she got dead. She must have run along here. We don't know, of course, what happened then. We should have called the police. Huh. Perhaps she slipped on a leaf. The base of her skull was smashed. Anyway, how are you? <laughs> it was thought that she hit her head on the edge of the cement wall where we're sitting. Yeah. And she fell in there. She died in the water. That's where Eric found her ten minutes later. Dave Perner searches for his ball. said, Mickey, wait here. <laughs> I'm going down to the house yeah. for just a minute. A minute. Wait mm. here, Mickey, you said. And then you went away in the rain. Oh, he's growing pot. <laughs> and you didn't come back to play. <laughs> Get a box! <laughs> and don't forget that you and Eric are coming for lunch day after tomorrow. Mm. We'll do better than that. We'll come to church on Sunday as well. Oh, getting Eric to church is like moving a mountain. He'll come. Come along, my dear. It's getting late. Yes, you, hot stuff. Eric, thank you very much for bringing Jenny into our lives. Thank you for the dinner. It's a pleasure. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? Did you know that Jenny's very wealthy? Oh, yes. Mr. Ma told me in town today. Well, she's not at all like Mary. You know, she's so gentle and timid as if... As if she were afraid of something. I did have a gun in her ribs during dinner, but... I knew you'd like my friends, dear. Yeah. Hey, what's this? Huh? Hmm? Just happy, that's all. Bletch. Oh, come so happy. Come on. Hey, nice pad he's got there. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna start my own pond. <laughs> Ah, 
Wow, I could read Paul Reiser's autobiography over and over again. How are the cuts? I have a headache. It's fine. It was either the clown wallpaper or the flat gray paint. <laughs> what are you reading? Avoiding the Old Goat by Ann Landers. Something Mrs. Snow sent over. Interesting. It was. It's called Beast in the Jungle. It's about what to expect in my honeymoon. Good one. It's all about a man who waited all of his life for something great and wonderful to happen to him. Then he gets me. He had only one good friend. Mm. It's a woman. Mm. He confided. Mm. And she died. It's really hilarious. At her grave, he suddenly realized that she was the great and wonderful thing that he'd waited for all of his life. Huh. But it was too late then. Wow, too bad. So, some? His memories, like a beast in the jungle, rise up out of the past. Mm. Overwhelm him. Now let me tell you about Norman Schwarzkopf's book. He doesn't know what he missed. Flat, drab passion meanders across the screen. Mm. So, anyway, in the second chapter, this fellow finds out that what he looked for was... Wow, that was great. Are they skeet shooting in the Lido deck? She's got mosquito netting protecting her bosoms. <laughs> oh, he's down there on the teeter-totter again. Eric? Turns out he's setting up tables for a card party. Just beheading rats down here, honey. <laughs> Yeah, I think she's nude now. Oh, come on. Mike, she's nude. Can you at least give me that? Wow. I have a papal decree to read. Okay, I think they've set enough mood. I think we can move on to plot now. Yeah. Mickey crawled in our bed again. <laughs> it's like they have two servings of tension that they're trying to stretch out for seven people. <laughs> Windows 58. It's the only thing banging in this house lately, I'll tell you. Oh, the film broke and it was horrible. Someday she'll look back on this and worry about it. <laughs> Turned out to be Denny Terrio. <laughs> hey, funny joke throw up. Is that water? No, it's my marinated rear view mirror. <laughs> pad. Now you water lilies, calm down out there. I don't think Mickey looks for her in the pond. Jenny, I'll stop it. I can't help it, Harry. That bad feeling's come back. I forbid you to talk about it. She looked like that, Harry. Grr, die, die, die! die. Like Jenny, Jenny. I can't help it, Harry. I've been diagnosed cuckoo. Darling, you're just talking yourself into those same old fears. I've got to talk about it, Eric. I have to talk about I it. I forbid you to talk about it now. You're under arrest. What? Just that with you beside me, I'm alive again. I don't want to be sick anymore. Honey, look. Now you mustn't go on thinking like this. You'll burn out your head. Oh, besides, how could a poorly done mm -hmm. self-portrait upset you so much? Hey, folks, this is my trick. Come back here. Look, I got it. Wait. Oh, damn, they're gone. I know it's only my own fear. It's my own guilt that I can't get away from. Mm. Eric, I'm sorry. I got snot on your bathrobe. Oh, I want you to listen. And I want you to believe me. And I want you to sit on this candle. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, you were sick once. Mm. Yes, but you were cured. Maple cured and smoked. Mickey caused this. You may as well know. He does look for Marion night after night down by that pond. And he probably comes here afterwards. Mm -hmm. I'm going to speak to Mickey in the morning. With a series of grunts and whistles. You see? Now, simply, it's all explained away. But if I all scream, Eric? Before, when I went to the hospital, I was hearing things. I'm hearing them again. What did you hear? Was it a gunshot or more of a stabbing sound? I strain cream. I ox cry. <laughs> that sound like. Come here. Come on. I want you to unclog the toilet. Can I interest you in some defenestration? Hmm. Okay, now my dead wife will scream. Listen to the difference. <laughs> sound like that? It's all very, very real. Such a fool. You feeling better now? Yes. I'm so bipolar sometimes. Okay, go to dead. Bed. Bed. Mickey manufactures his own ammonia to clean the greenhouse. <laughs> like to go to bed, but there's a victim strapped to it right now. People are trying to study. Night. Club. Uh, we won't be bothered with any of Mickey's nightly visits anymore. I've forbidden him to go to the house. <laughs> I was just nervous last night. I wish you wouldn't take it out on Mickey. No, he's a child. He must be disciplined. Ooh. I'd like him to feel I'm his friend. Why don't you do some gardening with him while I'm in town? If he sees you're interested, you win him over quickly enough. Wait a minute. Mickey gave me an ear. I wonder if you knew whose it was. Could you quick prove my suicide note? It lists staples mostly. Uh, are you sure you don't want to come in with me? Say no, say no, say no, say no. Is that more done without me? Got to see about the lights, the phone, the bank, and the warehouse people about that furniture. You know, that cop's just about broken my back. Yeah, don't forget to see Mr. Maurer. I have to see him this evening. It's a bore, but I'll have to see him. Will you be home in time for dinner? I'll wait for you. Now, if I'm not, don't you worry, darling. Getting out of Mara's clutches sometimes requires an act of God. I love you. With a really deep passion, madly do I love you, dear. Mickey, don't chase the car this time. Mickey, how about I just give you my underwear drawer? Hello, Mickey. Ah, bonjour, my sweet. Uh, I see you got a new stain on your jacket. Oh, look out. You almost cut him. He's <laughs> a handsome one, isn't he? So cuddly and warm. When I was a little girl, I used to want to be a caterpillar. I wanted that too, and it worked out. So I was a very little girl. There you go. Um, I, I gotta go stare at things in my shed. <laughs> Marion must have loved her gardens. Mm -hmm. We'll keep them lovely for her always. You know what I'd like to do, Mickey? De-louse you. I'd like to pick some of the nicest flowers and take them to her. Would you like that? I like mice. Yes. Eric told me she was near here. Would you show me where? Well, she's kind of all over. Boy, this is fun. <laughs> ah, her favorite symbol, a pyramid balanced on oranges. <laughs> it's the Irene Ryan Monument. <laughs> You're mental, aren't you? I'm sure it was a great loss to all of you, Mickey. But we need to get that sod in today. She cries. Cries? In the night. Dead people don't cry, Mickey. I heard her. Observed her, Vivian. <laughs> heard her? 
Ah, uh, maybe it wasn't her. Anyway, uh... Oh, I had a victim in the oven. Mickey? <laughs> Too bad, Tom. <laughs> Not me. Hey guys, what's going on? Shh, shh, quiet, Mike. We're trying to scam a free coffin out of those morons who made today's film. Yeah, free coffin if you die of fright. <laughs> I'm gonna say I died of fright even though I haven't yet. Then I'll just sit back and wait for my free coffin. <laughs> yeah, some film releasing companies are so stupid. <laughs> American International Pictures. Um, yeah, I died while watching your film Screaming Skull. <laughs> Skull, no, you're going to ruin it. Sorry, I'd, sorry. I'd like to get my free coffin out of the deal, please. Okay, there should be a code number on that film. Can you read that off to me? Uh, code number? Code number? Uh, a three. Three. Yeah, um, yeah. three. Okay, that's a stock reorder number. The number I need begins with an L and is followed by three digits. Okay, um, L333, I guess. Good. Okay, is this Tom Servo? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have you listed as a viewer of Screaming Skull, cool. and you say you died during the viewing of this? Yeah, uh, w no, well, my friend did. <laughs> yeah. Sir, yeah. please know how sorry we are for your loss. We'll try to make this as easy as possible. Which style of coffin would you like for your dear friend, the Imperial or the rest of her? Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Look, let's just forget the whole thing, okay? Sir, we... I know how hard this must be for you, but if you'll bear with us, we'll get through it. Oh boy. Imperial or rest ever style? Uh, I don't know, Imperial, I guess. Satin or velvet lining? Hang up, hang up! No, they've got my name. Hey, a lady, it looks like my friend is moving. I guess he's not dead. Why don't you just cancel that order for me? I don't understand. Your friend isn't dead? Uh, n no, I, I thought he was dead, but he's not. Well, look, he's up now. He's moving around a lot. Yeah. Oh, well, look, now he's in a triathlon. Yay. Oh, boy, he's finishing second. It looks like he's going to be just fine. <laughs> well, the order's already gone through to shipping. You're going to have to receive it, return it, and pay shipping both ways. Okay, yeah, fine, fine. Goodbye. Bye. Hang up quick. Yeah. You know, you guys should try pulling pranks that don't involve lying about the dead. Oh, right, Mike. You come up with one, then. Oh, there's gotta be movie sign! Oh, movie sign. I'll talk to you later. Oh. Oh, boy. Does she have a ham halo? <laughs> C.S. Lewis Funhouse. I want all chests as covered up as mine. <laughs> oh, sorry, Walt stepped on my toe. Pinched lady at Giverny. That's her bikini. <laughs> well, I should probably request my dental records, just in case. Well, I've had a big day. That scene brought to you by the Superfluous Foundation. <laughs> well, might as well start that smut movie I've been talking about. Ooh. <laughs> She's wearing a man's ear. Hmm. Advanced face pinching. What was I doing? Oh, took my shirt off. Yeah, I'm titillating the audience. That's right. Well, I better get those lemons out and start rubbing them on my body. And the bra fairy queen appeared. That is a power bra. Underwires, overwires. Hey, well, check it out. Oh man, a hog calling contest right next door. I don't think he quite expects she's gone. <laughs> she cries. She cries in the night. Mickey, CNN, Atlanta. I think he expects her to show up one of these mornings. Mm -hmm. She died in the water. Oh, I forgot the something. The base of her skull was smashed. She didn't want to die. She died in the water. Mm, subway just pull in, or...?
a dandelion. No. I'm gonna go down and do some putting. How good my snake charmer's here. At least some oboe player got a paycheck out of all this horse hockey. <laughs> <laughs> We're just messing with you. Hi, I'm Carol, your realtor. <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore. Ah. Smile though your heart is breaking. Oh great, Ebola. Jeez. I've got to get to the back teen. Whew, my bout with Holyfield was tougher than I thought. I threw a body part up on the roof. Can you help me? <laughs> Something staying crunchy even in milk. Is the camera still on me? Uh, are we still going here? Um, oh, we are. Okay. Can I come in? It's scary out here. <laughs> Can we help you, movie lady? Do you need a push or something? I think there's some of that bean dip left. Ah, good thing she's able to see that with her remote camera attached to the flexible hose. <laughs> uh, if this turns out to be her husband, I'm just going to return the unused portion of this movie. Yeah. Hello? I'm scared, yeah, but I'm getting a little bug. This is taking forever. You know, they weren't really expecting anybody to watch this. Everybody was supposed to be necking by this point. So, Mike? Get away from me. Get out of here. Be fun. Remember, folks, if you die of boredom, you do not get a free coffin. Sorry. I'm gonna go put on my turtleneck peignoir. <laughs> Got the Aurora Borealis in her living room there. <sighs> you know, all this time, we could have been watching an Apple Brown. Yeah. The movie that dares to graphically depict sometimes seeing peacocks and sometimes not seeing peacocks. Alas, poor Yorick, she threw him well. Oh. <laughs> Settled in a divot. That skull probably laid eggs already, so that doesn't do any good. Woof. Well, got the skull thrown, so that's done anyway. <laughs> probably should put out the raging fire in the den. Hey! Oh, why did my husband and I agree to sleep in different movies? <laughs> what? I guess it grew little skull legs. Yes. Skull. Skully. Well, maybe he hired a cat to walk him around. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll just go around back and use the pet door. I'm guessing Donna Reed's still in there waiting like an idiot. <laughs> Donna Reed. <laughs> Stupid. God. Well, 
I have skull tossers remorse. Oh, not gonna be able to reach the doorbell, damn. I should get one of those Russian mail order husbands. So they put a tiny bit of movie in a box and then just fill the rest with a bunch of foam peanuts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this, for example, this scene is a foam peanut. Maybe, <laughs> maybe two. Please let it be Fabio. Didn't expect the Cutco guy to come at 2 a.m. The skull got a pack of squirrels to knock on the door and run. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, could could she she do something like react or decide or or even just infer maybe? I hired a pudgy little 13-year-old to noodle on his tuba, too. Hey, it's me, the Skull. We need to talk about a certain me-tossing incident. Hmm. Knocking. I forget what you're supposed to do when you hear that sound. Ooh. Hmm. Gandalf's outside scratching things on the door. <laughs> I think this is what Pat Nixon's life was like. Do you think? Hey, do me a favor. Open the door. Let him in. Do 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 Martin Luther's nailing each thesis individually. She had one nostril enlarged for the role. Hmm? Trick or treat for calcium. Ooh, that's horrible. The skull has been perfectly civil through all this, I have to say. Nick. <laughs> oh, that was expertly done. Play the break just right. Very nice. Well, here I am. How did I get over here? Is there a bush I haven't marked yet? <laughs> Jenny. 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 Honey. Honey. You're in my cot. It's all right, darling. It's all right. I'm right here. I'm right here. Just lie back. That's right. Just lie back. Uh, why are there scuffs all over my prized skull? Eric. When you found me, what else was there? What do you mean, what else? A skull? Jenny. I know there was no skull. Of course not. There is my friend Bob Skull. Did I mention him earlier? Mickey says Marion cries at night. Why, that childish, stupid... Don't blame him. We both hear the peacocks. He, out of his love for Marion, wishes the cry to be from her. I, out of my sickness... Now, oh. darling. We've been all through that nonsense last night. Oh, well, there you are. Don't you see? I've never imagined seeing these things before. Hmm. To just stand there and see it, and have it turn out to be nothing. Have you uh, barked at the moon lately, honey? <laughs> Eric? Do you like mayonnaise? <laughs> I want you to call Dr. Ann tomorrow in New York. Uh, I don't get You do. I want you to take me back. No, Jenny. Now, it may sound selfish. But I want everything for me. But don't you <laughs> see, having you to love, I'm happy too. I don't want to lose that. Now, in the morning, Mr. Snow will be here and we'll tell him. He's very comforting. Yeah, Mr. Snow, and then Mr. Horse, and then Mr. Mary Jane. I think you'll mm -hmm. agree with me. About what? Yeah. I think it's Mickey. <laughs> Where is he? Help. <laughs> You see, he hated me from the first. Where's she? Ah. Marion was his friend, and when I married her, he thought I was taking her away from him. And now that she's dead, taken away from him forever, I suppose in that childish mind of his, <laughs> I'm responsible for that. Now I'll enter your dimension. And now, because you're my wife, and in Marion's house, 
He hates you too. Damn, he's a good gardener. I don't think Mickey's responsible. He's not quick enough or clever enough. Then who? Myself. Ah. It's all in my own mind. Mm -hmm. We do need somebody else, darling. We need somebody outside of the confusions of our love for each other. So I've hired Richard Crenna. Now, the Reverend Snow will be here in the morning. You are a lifesaver. I can't believe I ran out of holy water. Wow. He's in there. Okay, I'll climb in and you confess through the little hole. Well, <laughs> this much is real anyway. Look here, Jenny. A place to put your gum. You see, this is how you gouged your hand. And you say you threw the skull down here where Eric is looking? Yes. Did you find anything, Eric? Nothing yet. Well, I'll slap the straight jacket on your wife. Surely, Jenny, you must agree with me that anything as fragile as a skull would have been smashed to bits down there. And Eric has found nothing. And to assume that the skull would move of its own all the way from there to the driveway door. Now, now Jenny, there's no reason for that. There's other skulls you can play with. Don't you see, I agree with you. Did Eric tell you I spent over a year in a sanitarium? Well, oh, Eric told Mrs. Snow that you were very impressionable, but that's all. You're actually nuts, huh? I know lots of people needing a rest go to sanitariums. Especially crazy people. This wasn't quite that kind of sanitarium. It was staffed by clowns. <laughs> you see, I grew up loving my father and hating my mother. Ooh. Well, she never knew it. Something I kept to myself. She was very beautiful. For an ugly person. Very gay, like her. <laughs> very much. And I knew she resented that I was not more like her. I used to lie awake at night and wish she were dead. You know, the gospel speaks of losers like you. Well, that isn't very unusual. I understand many children go through such a period. I was no longer a child. Oh, well, it's hell for you then. One day, I stood by a shiffer robe and bored a priest to death. I got my wish. They were both drowned. I have to dry clean my cassock, don't I? I can still hear her scream. I was all alone on the little beach. And all I could see was the overturned boat on the top of the waves. And I kept trying to reach them. As I held them under. And the waves were throwing me back. Have you tried talking to your minister about this? I could hear her cries no more. And then hours later, the men came and searched for the bodies. They were never found. Yeah, death's hard, ain't it? That's when this bad feeling started. This feeling that if I'd really wanted to, I could have saved them, but I didn't. Well, why didn't you? That I really killed them. No, Jenny. You tried. You tried your very best. I did. But thinking, begging, praying couldn't make this feeling go away. Look, what do you want from me? <laughs> That's when they took me to the hospital. Yeah, look, I got bingo. But they told me I was cured. Jenny. Shut up. <laughs> they told me I was cured. Yes, okay. I, I found a screaming hip bone, if that helps. Mickey? I'm rendering. Let's see, it's Tuesday. Who is he stalking Tuesdays? Hmm. Mickey? It's time for our discussion salon. All right, you go on. I'll be there in time for lunch. Well, where do you think he's gone off to, Eric? Who knows about Mickey? He might be hiding. You looked at Marion's grave. Hmm. Nice wife. <laughs> Man, my marriage went down the crapper fast. Yes, free. I'm gonna strip down to my shorts and watch golf. <laughs> yeah, let's see how my poison ivy's doing. <laughs> Yeah, 
I think I'll slip down to Cambodia for a minute. <laughs> what the? Oh, I love my new jogging suit. St. Francis boxing pose. Come on, come on. Becky? She's buried underneath a small changing tent. Becky! 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 Becky? Having his own three-legged race. Becky! Mickey! Yeah, blood at you. Yeah. Come on, bring it in, tough guy. Come on. I'm waiting here. St. Francis. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so he checks Mickey's villa in the south of France. <laughs> Eric, did you find him? No. Where's Jenny? She's with Mrs. Snow on the patio. Eric, I think I should tell you that Jenny is confident in me about the sanitarium. She didn't you? Does your wife know? We're not married. I told her Jenny was impressionable, but not that. Mr. Snow, <laughs> you can do both Jenny and me a great favor by forgetting she ever told you that. But, Eric, if it helps explain, it explains nothing. If I were you, Eric, <laughs> I'd take it away. <laughs> if she's so impressionable and that house frightens her so much, why subject her to it? Look, I can't do a thing like that. It'd be the worst thing for her. Mr. Snow... It would be admitting she was sick again. Reading. I wanted to be happy. Mr. Slush. We'll stay here. Perhaps you know best, Eric. See, I've got a simple and old-fashioned piece of philosophy. The only cure for her fear is to teach her she's loved. I mean, really loved. I mean, really, really... I love her so much. God bless you for that, Eric. She's a very fortunate woman having someone like you to care for her. But if you ever need to swap wives, just let me know. Be nice, soon. Jenny, Jenny. What? It'll be night soon. Mm, sorry. <laughs> Donna, you've got to believe. It will not happen again. Ever. Why did you call me Donna? Becky? Becky! Eric. Eric! Don't touch Mickey. You don't know where he's been. Mickey's trying to lead him away from his eggs. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> You're it! Oh, what are you going to do on that skull? Stop it, it wasn't his fault. Where did you get it? Leave him alone. I'll take care of this, Jenny. Now, I know you don't like me, Mickey. I know you do anything to get us to leave here. This idiotic attempt to scare us as if we were children. Blue. It was you, wasn't it? Wasn't it? No, not me, not me. And Ida, no. Uh, get out of here, get out of here! Huh? Should I consider that my employee review? I'm going to go back and work for Leona Helmsley. <laughs> I wish you'd apologize to him. You know as well as I do, it's not his fault. It's all in my own mind. Jenny? I've got your number. I'm going to do something. And you're going to help me do it. Make canapes. What's that? That portrait upstairs. It reminds you of your mother. Chair made by Gateway Computers. Yes. You were fine until you saw it. Now it has you all preoccupied with memories of the past. You're nuttier than a cheese log. We're gonna burn it. That's precious to you, Eric. The picture means nothing to me. I want you to be happy. And dead. We can't be until this fear is out of our lives. Hi, I'm Hedda Hopper. And we'll just brush it with a little olive oil first. <laughs> See, we get this done, we've got the day to chase Mickey. <laughs> okay, honey, now lay against the painting and light it. All right, Jenny. Go on, Jenny. Throw the M80. <laughs> mm. If you imagine it's a Leroy Neiman, the scene plays a lot better. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Please, don't do this! Hang me in a comfort inn! Let's go back to the house. Oh, someone's radial saw went through a nail. It's only the peacocks. Yeah, they're machining some tools out back. And always, scary tuba music. Hello. 
Pepe Le Pew walked by. Fire's almost out. Yeah, we'll have to put you in to keep it going. Yes. We can't let those ashes stand overnight. And the brush in these hills is a regular tinderbox. So I'm going pole vaulting is what I'm saying. <laughs> you want to help me? Oh, I've been waiting for you to ask me to rake ashes with you. Ah, you feeling better? Ah, you read me like a book, honey. It's as if I destroyed her with my own hands. We'll have to advance to my burning small animals therapy. She'll come back and... She'll come back. Mm -hmm. Darling, if you go on talking that way, you destroy the whole purpose. Now, the thing <laughs> is out of the house and it's hmm. over. You yeah. just give it half a chance. You'll begin to forget it. <laughs> okay, you set? You got the plan down? Well, I think so. I'm a skull. Yep. I sit here and be a skull. Right. Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, and then to cap it all off, Mike walks in like a sap and he... Oh, wait, here he comes. <laughs> Ah. 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 Hey, ah. hey, Mike, what are you doing? Stop hitting me with those chips. Oh. Oh. Man. Oh, man, that guy is spooky, huh? Yeah, he was really hitting me with those things. Yeah, I think oh. he was really... Oh, no. Oh, no. Crow, what, look what, out. What, what, what is it? Mike, oh. Mike, no. Oh. Mike, no. Oh. Mike, no. Oh. Mike, no. Oh. You're going to kill him. What are you doing, oh. Mike? Oh. Mike, this is insane. Oh. What are you doing? Stop oh. it now. Stop it. Mike, this kid... Oh, 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 is he gone? Yeah, I think so. I think he might be out of it. Oh, no, for God's oh. sake, Mike, no! Oh, what has oh, he got? What does he have? For God, Mike, oh, listen to me. Oh, listen oh, to the sound of my voice, Mike. Oh, 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 Mike, no. What Mike, this is not a skull. This is Crow, Mike. This is Crow. Don't let him hit me. Do you understand me, Mike? Don't let him hit me. No, Mike, no, please. It's Crow. There, put it down. Oh, no, Mike, don't hit him with the driver. That's. Oh, hey, is that one of those big berths there? Oh, let me see that. Is that a 10.5 law? Don't talk to him about that big berth. Oh, sorry. Stop hitting me! Mike, no, Mike! Mike, no! It's a pro! It's a pro! Mike, stop! It's a pro! 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 This is pro! This is pro! He was screaming. He's a skull. He was... Yes. Scream. Crow screamed. Get yeah, it? I screamed, Mike. It's Crow. It's all in fun. <laughs> Good time. Oh. Just me screaming. And, and I'll listen. Yeah. If you'll just spread those ashes out a little for me, I'll get the water to it. Come on, Rake, what do I pay you for? <laughs> That's it. Therapy, counseling, bunch of hooey. This is a real way to mental health. <laughs> My name's not Eric, ma'am. What is it, darling? Let's go! Let's go! Darling, there's no skull there. There's no skull there, darling. There is no skull there, Jenny. Is there a skull darling, there? There's, there's skull no there. skull there. The skull. No yeah. skull. It worked. Hey, thanks, skull. Come on inside. I'll write you out that check. Mm, nothing better than fresh roasted skull. Mm. I'll give you something to scream about, young skull. I ain't sharing this with no one. I'd scare Mickey with it, but he's got a pile of them under his bed already. I'll cover this with candle wax and give it back to that hippie. All right, here's the plan. You run a short pattern into the flat. The skull emits a steady stream of chlorine all day, keeping your swamp sanitary. Okay, fetch, boy. Oh, wait, I don't have a dog. Look, a large biped squirrel. I'm fertilizing the bushes as we speak. Want to go downstairs? <laughs> you going to be able to catch a plane tonight? When we get into town, I will call Mr. Maurer. 
They'll arrange a midnight plane. Ooh. I thought there'd be more time. Time for so many wonderful things. It's gonna be all right. We have our volunteer clowning at the children's hospital. Of course. <laughs> it's just me. Brought some cool ranch flavored hosts. It's gonna be all right. First year of marriage is always the most psychotic. <laughs> Good evening, my dear. Mrs. Snow's hens thought you might like some fresh eggs for your breakfast in the morning. They're hers. Hello, <laughs> Eric. This is a surprise. Those hens labored mightily, as you can see. <laughs> Fine, I'll take them. Come on, I got the stuff out back. Come here. You'll excuse me, dear. What is it, Eric? Her parents drowned in a tub full of eggs. I've got to take Jenny away. That hospital she was in before. It happened again? I thought it would help her if we got rid of that portrait. You know the one. Yes. Dogs playing poker, yes. Well, we burned it. She saw a skull in the ashes. You were there? I saw nothing, of course. Of yeah. course. Now, I thought it was Mickey. But when I was there myself and I saw her... I felt her beat. Ooh. Mr. Snow, there's something I've never told you. I've never told anybody. I married Heck Ramsey. But when Jenny was put away in that hospital... I'd steal her jello. <laughs> she tried to do away with herself. I'm terribly afraid. You think she might try it again? I know she will. <laughs> unless I get her back to that hospital. When are you going? Tonight. But we shall miss you. Mrs. Snow and I have grown very fond of Jenny. Yes, and she of you. I don't suppose you'll be coming back here again, Eric? No. Never. Meanwhile, inside the reference head, a fire raged on. I'll miss him and his wife. He's very kind. Yes? Yeah, for Sky Pilot, anyway. I said goodbye to him just now. He tried to talk me out of what I saw. Oh. Oh. He said he thought the skull was real. He's going to bring some men in the morning to search the estate. Where? He's doing Juan Epstein. Everywhere. Who? He's just talking, trying to be kind. I suppose. Yep, I suppose. I'll go upstairs and pack. I'll leave room for your body, honey. You want to come with me? I'll be up in a minute. Remember, tonight's our monkey love night. I can just make it to the compost heap. Mm. Clothes from the Fred Rogers collection. Ah, oh, from now on, I'm gonna keep my skull and easy store it. Let's see how it is. Hey, there's a rock I crushed my first wife's skull with. <laughs> well, that brings back memories. Oh, yuck. Mickey goes in there. <laughs> There's a Euglena holding the skull behind his back, laughing. This is where Evian bottles all its water. Mickey! Mickey! Me! Mickey! Me! Come on, I just want to borrow a towel. Mickey! Theme! <laughs> Mickey Steen. Mickey Steen, Mickey Steen, Mickey Steen, Mickey Steen. Good. You killed the Spireas, you bastard! All right. Where's that skull? You saw me put it in the pond, you must have. Where is it? I don't know, I don't know. Don't lie to me. <laughs> no, lie to me. hey, Mo. Where is it? I don't know. Tell me the truth. Don't hit me, Mo. Come on, porcupine. Ow. Ow. Tell hey. Me. Well, that went better than I thought it would. <laughs> huh. Man, this is almost as bad as when I gardened for Jackson Brown. Uh, sir, you want to borrow one of mine? Hmm. Maybe I'm too formal when I swim. <laughs> That's Mr. McFeely's music. <laughs> busy day, busy day. <laughs> Sorry. 
Is this movie sponsored by the Wicker Basket Council, or...? <laughs> hey. Uh, the Union for Dangerous Urine-Stained Gardeners is gonna hear about this. Spark, 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 spark. Well, I suppose you screwed up the murder of your second wife, too. I told you'd never amount to anything. Why can't you kill properly like the other husbands? Now it's music by the mutants from beneath the planet of the apes. I'm gonna see if Mickey would eat this for a quarter. <laughs> Man, I gotta hire a wife-killing service. It's cheaper in the long run, really. Don't you make that skull face at me, Missy. William S. Burroughs. <laughs> but Eric said that he didn't see it when Jenny saw it. I know. Oh, but mm. why should Eric lie like that? Mm. Mickey, those other times with the skull, did you do it? No. Mickey, you've never lied to me before. Lying is a sin. You understand that? No. You must not lie to me now. Did you do it, Mickey, all those other times? No. I simply do not understand that. If it wasn't Mickey... And it wasn't her imagination. But why would Eric do such a thing? Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. Well, what do you think we should do about it? We're going back there, to that house. Mickey, get in the trunk. Huh. Well, I'll go hunting for night crawlers. That always makes me feel better. Hmm. Let's see, have I worried about everything I should have worried about today? Uh, have I worried about the grass? No, no. And the trees. Have I worried about the trees? And, and the air. I forgot to worry about the air. Oh. Mickey? <laughs> this movie's original title was Looking for Mickey. Step in the bear trap. Come on, step in the bear trap. She's strolling by Wife Skull Lake. <laughs> If Ed Wood had directed Rules of the Game. Mm, I love stalking my wife. I think it's normal and healthy. Yeah, we have a pretty good marriage. It's been three days. I haven't killed her yet. Mickey? Eric and I are leaving, Mickey. We left you a bowl of kibbles. I'd like to say goodbye. And I'd like to say celery. I'd like to leave as your friend, Mickey. But you're extremely creepy and have very dangerous B.O. <laughs> Mickey? Oh, every time they leave, Mickey crawls under the basement steps. Mm. <laughs> Hermione Gingold, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, that gown was so tacky, I'm actually frightened. Oh, nice move. She moves like Gail Sayers, man. <laughs> well, apparently you killed a cross-dressing beekeeper as well. <laughs> Whoa, prairie dog. Kerry <laughs> Takano is drunk again. I'm gonna last to be that chipmunk. <laughs> oh, Popeye. Oh, nice stride on that ghost. <clears throat> uh, Kathy's trying on another bathing suit. Eck. You know, their furniture still hasn't arrived. No, that's a subplot that just hasn't gone anywhere. Yeah. You let the toilet seat up! Ah! Oh, great. She's playing her Yoko Ono albums. I think the title was supposed to be Screaming Semicolon Skull. Uh -uh. Oh, relax, honey. Here, let me massage your epiglottis. This is generally regarded as a less than healthy form of expression in a marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Ooh. It's the Society for Unstrangled Wives. Oh, I'll get it, I guess. 
Now, Mike, you got to be fair. This movie is more than people looking for Mickey. Mm -hmm. At least a third of it is doors being knocked on and not answered. Yeah, I see your point. No, oh, what? The, my new wife is early. I need some sofa-sized art on that wall. So this movie is kind of a combination of Telltale Heart, Blythe Speared, and, uh, well, a piece of lint, I guess. It's the show us your live wife and win a million dollars, people. Bad timing. Can I borrow some flesh? Friends are visiting from hell. <laughs> from Osara, from Osara. Man, he just scooped his stool right up and threw it at her. <laughs> it's a hard stool. He should at least use some stool softener. If he's okay, gonna... okay, okay. Everyone knows it's Slink Skull. <laughs> ah, the Tibetan Freedom Concert starting. <laughs> now, I prefer occasional outburst skull. <laughs> oh, and he's caught in a rundown. Ooh, attacked by a pack of skulls, that's tough. Yeah, there's one skull assigned to bite his nose and just bring him down. <laughs> I'm Bugs Bunny sneaking up music. <laughs> well, it is skull season down south, you know. Party! <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell the skull that... Ah, never mind. A scary Benny Hill sketch. <laughs> you see, that's a real deadhead. Oh my! Oh, it is. He's being compelled to hold a skull against his neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's playing with his beach skull. Buy beach skull now and receive free beach clavicle. Mono, you'll never know when it's going to strike. That man, he never finishes anything. <laughs> I'll just tell people that I accidentally strangled myself against the coffee table. And the moral of the story, never get close to anyone, ever. Thanks for the spontaneous tonsillectomy, honey. Hmm, I should have married that nice Mr. Von Bulow. You know, if she'd take the dress out a little, she could breathe. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to put this tent up. This tragedy could have been prevented with furniture. More skulls arrive in a cab. <laughs> We brought a night basket. Jenny! Me? Jenny! What happened? Jenny? Jenny, are you all right? You missed Even's song. Oh, Jenny. I was going to do the dance of the seven veils, but I only have four. Eric? Eric, try. Shh. Oh, Where is Eric? Don't, don't. Let the length of my face comfort you. I don't know. I don't know. I'll find him. It's all right, Edward. Now be careful. Shh. It's all right, darling. Oh, it's all right. Shh, Uncle Lady will take care of you. It's all right. Don't cry. Come on. Shh, Uncle Lady is here. Eric! Your wife's gone mental again. Eric! Please answer me! Eric! Boom, 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 boom. Eric! Ah. Eric, where are you? Come on, you son of a bitch. I mean, my Eric. son. Listen, Eric, I just want our basket back. Then I'll leave. 
You're wearing that? Eric. Good riddance, you stinking atheist. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, Jenny, this really is your fault. Why did he do it? For your money. The question is now, did Marion die in an accident? Mm. I suppose we'll never know. <laughs> I want to be the next White Rock girl. Uh, get into the anti-sex mobile here. Well, I nabbed the collection plate, so dinner's on me. Um, uh, should we call the cops? Well, we didn't last time, and it seemed to work out. Mmm, live frogs are the best. They're gone. Rest. <laughs> this is your colon on pork. Any questions? The only end, my friend. Yeah, yeah, and the children are all insane, right? Yep. I'm coming. Hold your water and see. Yeah. Hi. Uh, are you Tom Servo? Um, no. <laughs> well, I have a package here for uh, Tom Servo from Coffins, etc. Could you sign for it, please? No. Hey, 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 Servo, your coffin is here, you <laughs> luck. No. Oh, hey, Tom, looks like your coffin finally arrived, huh? What? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, it did, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'll sign for that there. I don't have to sign. <sighs> Boy, this looks like a great place to work. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, thanks. You have yeah, a good here. one. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Mike. Now I'm just gonna have to return the thing. It's really they stick you for the shipping. It's like 750 bucks each way. Really? Ouch, huh? Boy, tell yeah. me about it. I had to max out your Optima card. <laughs> I have a feeling you're gonna get a lot of use out of that car. Uh, yeah? Come on. Come on, Sunshine. Come on. Hey, there's an ape calling us! <laughs> oh my goodness! Mike Crow, Servo! Why aren't you in your monkey costumes? It's getting late, and you're supposed to be in your monkey costumes now. Because remember, we agree this is the time when you should be in your monkey costumes at this time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> it's me, Bobo! <laughs> I'm kidding you! <laughs> I really had you going there for a while. You thought I was an ape! <laughs> I totally fried you losers! <laughs> Rain guy, would you mind? Oh, I couldn't possibly. Oh, all right. <laughs> Hey! You guys got big! What's that? Ah!